As a new player, when you first start the game, you're thrown into the fire, so to speak. The first thing you do in the game is take your rig and start taking out this enemy base. But we wanted to be mindful of not putting off new players too quickly. So the first few fights that you do are kind of these scripted moments against AI-controlled players. But as you start leveling up, increasing your command rank, and start to kind of expand your reach on the planet Leviathan, you start butting heads against real players. And you can see those real players actually kind of land on your planet next to your territory and they will either attack your base or you can choose to attack them and as you level up your character you'll be matched against players who are at your level so the more you progress through the game the tougher your opponents are going to be. A hardcore player in, in Dawn of Steel can, can really differentiate himself or herself from somebody who's maybe not as familiar or as experienced in the game. There's a lot of fine granularity and control that any this player has over their rigs in combat. So you, as an experienced player, know how to manage not just the movement of your rigs, but can also take advantage of the support powers that you have to kind of group enemies in certain areas and then outmaneuver them. Then that's how you can beat somebody who's not as experienced in the game. We first launched Dawn of Steel in December 2014, just soft launch. So we kind of collect everything and then we judge it against where we thought we'd be. And if we're far off, we make changes to the next build. We've made uh, quite a bit of progress. We've stripped out some features that weren't working as well as we thought they'd work. But more importantly, we've added more features based on how the players have been interacting with the game. One of the biggest changes that we did was how players progress, how they level up in the game. We distilled it down to just uh, like a, a very core, simple mechanic. We added a new research tree that guides players along as they level up and gives them some choice about how they want to level up and kind of upgrade their rigs to match their playstyles. One of the things we're doing is building out the post-launch roadmap. And what that means is the, the content and the features that we're going to introduce to the game well after it launches. Most exciting for us is the addition of new rigs. We're launching with six to begin with, but we've got a bunch more in the works. And each new rig gives the player a slightly different play style uh, to, to enjoy in combat. We're adding social features, specifically a feature that we call alliances, which is the ability for different players to come together and form groups. And then finally, we want to add multiplayer events. So imagine, for example, one weekend we'd have this tug of war where alliances fight over control of a wide swath of territory. The winner gets a whole bunch of resources and points. We've got a lot of exciting things coming down the pipe for players.